Happy Sunday. Good morning. Um, just got home from church and I wanted to share some things that as I was driving home um, and before going to church and at church that the Lord laid on my heart. Um, the one thing um, that one word is delayed obedience. Okay. So when we do not obey what God tells us, okay, so he might say, do this, and we say, oh, no, nope, not going to do that. Um, I can't do that. It's, um, you know, we don't understand it. So because we don't understand it, um, we're not going to, um, I'm sorry, trying to get this situated here. Um, we're not going to listen to it the way um, we, it, it just, we're relying on our own understandings and we cannot do that guys. I know that for a fact, um, for years I heard certain things and I, I tried, but I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. Um, and finally I was able to do that and oh my gosh. Like, when we obey the Lord and what He tells us to do, He's in charge of what happens afterwards. And there's so much that happens afterwards when you obey. Um, when you just do what He tells you to do, um, you know, just do it. Like the Nike, you know, just do it. You will not be sorry. God is the giver of everything, okay? And he directs your paths. He, the, your steps are ordered. He knows where he's taking you. He, the only thing he needs from you is obedience, okay? He can't make us obey. That is where we have to do it. If we just obey, he will do the rest, okay? So that word obedience um, was on my mind this morning. The second thing that was on my mind is be a Martha. Okay. Uh, be a Martha. Martha, um, you know, her brother Lazarus was sick. She asked Jesus to come and he didn't come immediately. He came like two days later. And this is from our message at church. Um, and shout out to Andy. Uh, great message, Andy. Um, but, you know, Martha, you know, Jesus finally came two days later. And she was like, Jesus, you know, and, and Andy said, I'm sure she was probably angry um, and saying like, why? Why did you not come? Now he's dead. Um, but, you know, in that moment, she you know, the past is like, he died. He died. Okay. So then she moved to a stage of the present moment of like, you know what? That may have happened, but I still know who you are. God, I know who you are. Um, I know you are the resurrection. I know you're the life. I know that there is, um, I, I know your power. Um, and basically like she accepted that, um, and then she moved to a hope that, you know what, I have a hope for a future. There's hope, you know, I will see my brother Lazarus one day, one day I will see him because I believe in that you are Christ and, and you are the resurrection um, and the life, and, um, you know, one day he's going to rise again, and, and, and I will see him, but Jesus flipped the script, he said, Lazarus, come forth, and he raised him from the dead, and, you know, God, he, he chooses the miracles, okay? We have to believe in Him 
and his power and his choices and what he does in our lives. You know, there's been times in my life that I wanted him to do things. I, I wanted God to intervene and I wanted my way, um, but it didn't happen. Um, God, God chose not to restore. God chose not to heal. God chose, you know, um, and, and, and I'm okay with that because his way is the best way. Okay, guys, his way is the best way. Um, and, and we don't need to rationalize it in our head of like, that doesn't make sense. And, and I'm going to reflect like, I started making videos and, oh my gosh, to this day, I still don't know why. Um, but I continue to make them. But he did tell me, make videos. And I'm like, okay, okay, I'm going to do it, God. And he knows that I'm at a place that he can trust me. Whatever he tells me to do, and I feel that it's his voice, I will do it. Now, I have to discern like, um, which it is sometimes, um, you know, we are human and, um, you know, we don't always uh, see things clearly, I guess, uh, we might misinterpret or misunderstand. Um, and so, you know, we need to really be prayerfully over discerning the message he gives us. Because I've acted on things that um, now I can reflect and say, oh, I just don't know if, you know, God would have had me say it that way or do it that way. And, you know, I, I just say, okay, well, now I have to, to do it this way. And, um, you know, the one message that I want to leave you with uh, before I go um, is that Love conquers all. Okay, love conquers all. And what I mean by that is God loves you. Okay. He He loves you. You don't have to do anything for that love. Okay. He already demonstrated his love when he went to the cross for you. Okay. So the things that he does for you is not because you love him. It's because he loves you. And if you can wrap your head around that, if you can wrap your head around that I am loved by the creator, no matter what I do, I am loved. And that that love, if you can just believe it, and you can just believe the love, feel the love in, in, in order like love him also your life is going to be transformed i mean it, it truly is and so yeah i wanted to come on here and say be obedient listen to to the message that you hear okay and be willing to go and do whatever he tells you um and and he will have you doing some stuff that won't make sense, but you've got to do it anyway, uh, because you know, uh, that he has a plan for it and it might not, you might not know it now. You might not ever know the plan. Okay. Uh, but it, it does serve a purpose. It might not even be serving a purpose for your life. It might be serving a purpose for someone else's life. He might be using you to call someone else to think a different way, to, I don't know, I don't know. We are just the seed. We are to plant seeds. We're not responsible for how that seed grows. I mean, we can water the seed, um, but, you know, we're not in charge of the outcome of the fruit uh, uh, or the harvest of that seed. So, uh, don't beat yourself up if you are pouring into people. Um, and you're not seeing harvest, but you also have got to discern, are those people really, um, are you supposed to be spending all your time there? Um, 
watering that when there's no movement when like guys you can't help someone that don't want help you can't cause someone to think differently no matter how much you talk to them no matter how much you say to them they it, it falls on deaf ears you don't go wasting your time um, that doesn't mean that people aren't important you have to you have to plant the seed but you have to discern whether or not you are called to invest in in a, that person's life because in all honesty some people don't want help some people don't want change uh, some people will never change uh, but you know God's in charge of that not you and so don't become frustrated or aggravated or, or whatever whatever you do do unto the Lord okay so if you're doing it unto the Lord you will not become frustrated and I told someone that the other day I don't know who it related to to money I think I said you can't expect money back if you're going to give it you give it as a gift um, knowing that you may get it back or you may not and so you know you've got to determine if if you want to to give that love offering or whatever um, but don't expect it back and sometimes you give um, with knowing you're never going to get it back and that's just sowing um, into the, to them uh, into the cause or into that person and believing and uh, you know we're to have a generous heart and uh, when we give we're not to expect anything in return uh, God will always give you uh, an increase uh, you will be blessed with joy when you have a heart that is uh, you know true and um, and you're humble and kind God will give you um, give you great things it might not be monetary but he's going to give you a lot and um, um, I'm a witness uh, to to a resurrection to a transformation of a life that's been changed because of him and uh, I know the power in the blood and I know he's real guys he is real and he wants you to get real with him but he wants you to know how much you're loved. I think that is what I want you to know um, right now is that he loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. Just as you are. And, you know, when he gets into your heart and you feel that love and you start loving him back, he will do the transformation. You won't have to. His word transforms. He transforms. Um... And it's of no works that you could ever do. You can't earn it. You can't earn this. Uh, so, um, just put him first and serve him uh, with a glad heart. And, you know, be available. Be obedient. Uh, reverence him. And uh, make him your first priority. He said all these things will be added unto you. Um, you know. And, yeah. Yeah. So, happy Sunday. I don't know what you're doing, but I hope that you're doing rest. Uh, that's what you're supposed to do. Um, and you can pray for me, because I'm going to go riding with my son on his buggy. And I've never been, and I'm excited to spend time with him. And it's just good. So, have a great day, and thank you for listening. Like and share if if you get any anything ever out of, of my messages. I don't know. Like I said... I don't know why I started making this, and I don't know where it's going to go, but I'm obedient, and I'm going to keep making these um, until he tells me to stop. Okay? Thanks, and have a great day.